Hello and welcome back to To Be Name Gaming. I'm H. Stassi. I'm joined here by Noel Data. We're going. Hello. To, we are in the dungeon of whatever castle. Did, did we even get the name of the castle yet? Uh, I think it's something like the Good King's Keep or something. I don't remember. Oh. Oh, hey, look. Interesting. The only way to go is in the elevator. Uh -huh. Yeah. I almost lost you. I almost lost you. Take it off the. Oh, can't yeah. be on. Can't be on the right hand. It has to be on the. It can't be on the left hand. It has to be on the right. Okay. That's fine. I can do wield. Oh, hey. There's even an anvil here. Increase fidelity. Activate anvil. Bing bada boom. Wonder what he says. Not good, probably. This place was once a facade. We crafted decorative, theatrical torture devices for the great ritual. We didn't want to hurt each other back then. That was your job. The original usurper was in on it, part of the show. But what I hear now is real. Iron Maiden props replaced with an iron mistress. I can do more for you again, hero. The memories come back to me. Oh, he made these. In a manner of speaking, he is the master blacksmith. Interesting. He will be the master blacksmith once all is said and done. I mean, fair. Okay, what's the axe I'm currently using? That's it. Still weaker. You are cloistered because you have sinned. Sin pixelates your flesh because it ravages your thoughts. Wrongness swells within you. Rehabilitation is not cruelty. It is mercy. The Almighty has Okay, I want to see if I could chop her sh Thing. Nope. I tried. Alright, let's keep going. Is that a real door? Nope. Is that a real door? Nope.
Fable of Glitch. Fable of Glitch. Is that a usable item? Special options. So, room. There's a locked door there. Let's pick up over here. There's a what? Pick up. Oh. Murray of the NPC zone boss. Nice. Broken wall. I guess why. She is fact a soft torch. Cover the vampire dude. What's the vampire dude? Tunic. Looks funky. Looks familiar. How's that? Keep of the Stolen Crown. Pixelating display of cockiness. My wearer was taught a lesson in humility. Open the store behind us. Locked. Interesting. Does that mean we have to go the reverse way? Let's see if I can walk up the other side. Stay there. No, it's locked both sides. Interesting. We need a key. Yeah, it sounds about right. No shortcut for us then. Alright, wake up. Oh, whoops. You're, you're beating him with the torch, man. I was hoping you set him on fire. Whoa. One could wish. I don't think that's an L.E. ailment in this one. Ow! <laughs> Well, Ooh, since we've seen one of those guys. I don't think we've ever seen one in Fidelity. True. Locked. There's going to be a way around this way, probably. Is this a dead end? It is. It's also a shortcut. No way. All NPCs we've seen so far in this prison. Find us. Or the dude in Mace. Empty rib kit. There's a full 
skelly set? Yeah. No. Another unburdened. I want a full skelly set. We'll get it someday. Do we need to drop down here? Um. I think we need to drop down here. Uh, we did need to drop down here. No. No, I just healed that, damn it. Uh, it's too bad there's no real shortcut to where we will run. Oh, yeah. Jeez. So is the Mad Queen supposed to be Zelda? I'm not sure. A lot of overlapping tropes with this one. We would uh, have to go up there and Ow, meet the Mad Queen. This is like one of the last areas I was... Well, I didn't spend a lot of time here, let me just say that. Right. I hated this place. I can see why. Much better with somebody else here. Yeah, I see why. So we need to go up and drop. Oh. Here you try to shake me. Why I'm killing those skeletons is so I can get full skelly suit. Full skelly suit. Hang on. Okay. I finally decided to join you down here. Mm, yeah. Go. Done and done. Dungeon gate key. Oh my god, yes. Use it to open this. There we go.
Oh, I see. There's a dude up there. Hang on. Ah, shit! Sneezing like a madman. Okay, this seems to be like the right way to go. Oh, I see. There's a ramp. Looking for something we missed, Nod? Oh, you something I missed, not what you missed. Oh. I'll be with you shortly. Oh, got it. Hello from the other side. Hi, the invisible wall prevents uh, me going through. But yeah. I can just go down and around like this. Yeah. I like the worst thing about this place so far, well, aside from the enemies, uh, the fact that she's on loop. <laughs> There's like no other sound other than her. It is literally just her. Okay, there's clearly a way up over there, but there's just so much over here to look at. Green herb. Hi, I'll be taking the item behind you real quick. Okay, what do you say? It was good. You brought my gift to the innocent when you did. He'd already begun experiencing things. Pain was imminent. His memory was like a, an ominously seasoned appetizer, just hinting at the terrible entree yet to come. Ooh, ooh. Come here, you ow, I'm kidding. Nightum. That tum digging dagger. I think if memory serves this one it's just one of the pay to win one or pay to remember ones. Oh yeah, it is. The source weapon. I need to remember. Dang, 6,000. Oh, it's the data. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's freaking RAM. My wielder used me to try to tap the fabric of reality. Believe that the source was a tool to be harnessed by the ambitious and powerful. He gathered as many glitch runes, as, mi as much code as he could hoard. He would unleash their mysterious and devastating potency upon any who challenged him. He was above the great ritual. His destiny, he was convinced, was to become the new almighty. One day, a maiden NPC humbled herself before my mighty hero and offered him the codes and runes that had emerged among the mundane options within her care. She also offered him a puppy. My wielder accepted that just deference with nothing showed to him. While he was mesmerized by the incomparable potency of her code, the puppy eagerly crept closer. My hero exploded into pixelated mascara. What? Yeah. Uh, it's a reference to the, uh, hang on, let me see if, the exploding puppy code, which is an attack. Oh. 
it launches an exploding dog PNG that blows up. Okay, so we could drop down here, get that item. Or... I don't know if dropping down here will lead us to any way back, but... I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Yeah, why not? It's item. Glitch overflow code. Ooh. Oh, it leads us to a ladder. Yeah, you're, I don't think you're gonna be happy about where this ladder leads. Oh, it's backtrack. Well, that's not bad. Not too bad. Those are really good backtrack too, Jeebus. This skips a lot. And yeah, that's not actually dead end. Anyway, the stack overflow code we got is uh, temp. It's a stun. It stuns the enemy. It's used on. Cool. If I was a source mage, I would be able to use it, but I'm not. So. No. I did it. We have to have a torch light in this area in particular. So, suffered a fate. Humiliating. What does it mean? We'll find out. Who's taught a lesson of humility? <laughs> I lit every torch. Help, werewolf. Hi, I'm here to help. Did I help? I swung at the air. My blind panic of swinging apparently dealed with the werewolf. Delp? He nice. There are prison cells. There's nothing in this farthest one. There's something back here. Tis an item. Usurped usurper's blood letter. Is it pay to win? Nope. The castle's new usurper replaced my wielder, putting him in the back in his box every cycle. Oh. I remember now. Vampire. Uh, this is supposed to be the Castlevania castle. But, so, the story is, the king of this castle, the good king, Your kind gets... once upheld all worth saving. They ushered change to that worth changing. T'was not always their own wills they served. Right, back to it. Uh, the good king was um, is the ruler of this castle, huh? part of the story. And he gets the castle gets usurped by uh, the vampire king Dracula dude who comes in and takes over. However, this great one, this one who corrupted the story, was I don't know who they are to them, but they 
like imprisoned the Dracula guy and took over that part of the story, imprisoning both the king and Dracula. Hmm. So then that's who's the boss of this area. Anyway, um need to go back down for one of the items. Oh, okay. Which one would it be? I think we have a big sword we can unlock. Oh. In one of the rooms, if you remember. A big sword. One of the swords. Wailing agony of past tortures grows ever louder. So in a torture room. Yeah. So probably in the room of... Oh wait, no. Wailing agony. Is it like over here? How? Are there invisible monsters? Kind of. I oh, found it. It's in this room. I mean, it makes sense. I think this is the only one with manacles on the wall. The NPCs in Nosogaya always suffered. They simply did not reflect upon the limit limitedness of their existence until the Great Ones ruined the Great Ritual. My wielder heard the alchemy of the world, received the implicit torture of the gauntlet's design. The pondering of the, this existential chaos fueled his identity. He became a singular, exceptional brooder. <laughs> One day, while weighing some profound darkness in which regular folks dare never even imagine, my hero was approached by a peculiar figure. It's quite the opposite demeanor to my wielder. This jolly reliquary of pain implored my hero to follow him as a martyr. My wielder, always a renegade, chose to absorb the suffering of the world for his own power instead. The reliquary gave a disapproving frown, and sometime later, my wielder disappeared. Hard to say who's a good guy in that situation. Yeah. Sounds all around kind of bad. I wonder what he's a reference to. Sort of brooding, heavy sword wielder do I know of. Five of your relics can be re remembered up ahead. She misses a lot of relics. Oh, hey, that door opened. It's a back room. Hold up, friend. Oh, there's another door over here. And I opened it. Jeebus.
they expected us to do this? Memory of a valiant hero. Interesting. Another door. It's just blocked. Another door, which is also blocked. No way of another valiant hero. Do it some spring cleaning, doesn't hurt. A little bit of spring cleaning never hurt nobody. I'm pretty sure it evaporated the dust bunnies. So did you want to go upstairs or do you actually want to go down that hallway? Oh hey! It's the other side. Does he even do anything? That it does. Hi. Have you found him? Have you found the king? Oh, not yet. My heart is pounding. My heart is pounding. Right, well, we can sit down at the thing down here. Yeah, that's good. Since we're close to it. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Oh, boy. Two items that could be remembered here. That's poor. The moat of the stolen crown. Two items could be remembered at the moat. What the heck? No deal with that be. Perhaps we'll find out in the next episode. This has been H Stand Safe to be named Gaming. I'll join here by Nonix Narbelly. Hello. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye.